Hey guys, so this is going to be a uh, really brief intro into how to uh, mount your plants. It's pretty standard, but I figured um, we might as well go over it real quick. Other classmates in here mounting plants. What up? Okay, so you get your plant, and you want to center it in the middle of the page so that it kind of takes up the entire space of the page. You ideally want a specimen that's going to look nice and also show a lot of the really key like factors of this plant. So as here you can see like the jagged teeth, you can see some of the fruits, that kind of stuff. Um, and I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I like to be nice and like neat and centered about it, but that's just preference I think. So after that, you're going to take a couple little small pieces of this white tape, which uh, I will cut and stick to the back side of the leaves. And so instead of putting this one on the outside here, I'll probably actually only connect this one by the back sides of the leaves because they're nice and flat and broad. So I'll put tape here, 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 maybe here, and here, and here. And then I'll flip it over and press those all down nice and tight to where it stays. And then I would attach my tag here with the information um, that I put in that doc on right there. So I'll put a photo up of the finished product. And yeah, maybe another video with some of the tape sizes and everything. But I guess one thing, a couple things to keep in mind whenever you guys are doing your specimens is that you want to make sure your specimen looks nice on the page. And it also gives an accurate depiction of what the plant looks like in the real world. Because it's like... The entire point of pressing specimens is so you can use them to identify, and so if your plant's like all like gnarled and kind of messed up like this, it would probably not be that great of a specimen because it's almost it's almost it's completely dead, really brown. Uh, we do have a little flowers there, but they are broken up and kind of really dilapidated, so that'd be a bad specimen to press. But something like this, nice, clean, crisp, um, and shows what the plant looks like is a good thing to press. As for I guess any advice is do it soon, just because you don't want to, like you don't want to rush to do this the last day, and then find out that like all of your specimens are not high quality enough to press or whatnot, because then it's like, yeah, it's just really hard to get plants to dry out and press flat in less than 24 hours. If you guys need to use the ovens, they are here, so I'll keep this room open pretty much all day today, all day tomorrow, and all day Sunday. And so to get to this oven, you literally just come through the classroom, you come to this back door here, open it. And then on the left side, you'll walk over to the oven here. The oven will be on. Um, it's at a really low temperature, so you can put your presses in here, which is fine. Just make sure that you put your press as small as possible. Like take out all the extra pieces so other people can put it in here. So if you have like a last minute specimen that you need to press, uh, just come in here and put it in there. Um, this will be open tomorrow, probably around 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And it'll stay open probably until like 8, maybe 9. I don't know. We'll see. And then the next day, it'll be about the same. We have lots of books here, too, for identifying the families. And don't forget to use Go Botany as a resource. And just, like, contact other people, etc. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Later.